Hello guys, Sir Grandalot here. Uh, today I'm bringing to you a new comparison video between uh, some of the bow options for uh, Ganyu. I've recently managed to obtain a Skyward Harp from uh, Ito's Weapon Banner, so I finally managed to compare Skyward Harp with uh, Refinement 5 Blackleaf Warbow and Refinement 5 Prototype Crescent. Before we move to our damage comparison, it's worth mentioning that I'm not currently using 4 pieces Blizzard Strayer, because my full Blizzard Strayer set is so bad that my stats are much much better using 2 good pieces of uh, Shimenawa. As you can see here I have uh, Hat and Plume from the Shimenawa set, Flower and Sand from the Blizzard Strayer set, by the way GG this Sand, and an offset uh, Cryo Goblet. My stats are not particularly insane, it's like this. Uh, this is with Prototype Crescent. Now, of course, uh, if we move to Skyward Harp, uh, which is the one that I use more often, stats look quite a bit better. I've tested uh, Skyward Harp and Blackleaf Warbow both in the Abyss, while Prototype Crescent outside of the Abyss, because either I'm really bad uh, or the small doggies don't have a weak spot, so I was not able to trigger Prototype Crescent uh, passive on the small doggies, and it forced me to waste a lot of time. Here on the screen, while I'm talking, you can see the damage that I was managing to achieve in the Abyss. And for the Skyward Harp, of course, it was very easy because there are no particular modifiers. Uh, for the Blackleaf Warbow, which is the one you are seeing right now, the damage you are seeing with the small doggies is, is the basic damage of the bow, without any stacks built up. Uh, as soon as the three doggies die, the Blackleaf Orbo will have all the stack. Now the bow is at full stacks. We can see the big dog is coming and getting hit for quite a bit more damage compared to the previous uh, smaller plague dogs. And the last bow in this comparison will be the Prototype Crescent. Uh, the Thickness Lady, it's much easier to target her, and that's the damage that she was getting. Worth noting that the very first shot that you throw at a target, even if you hit a weak spot uh, with the Prototype Crescent, uh, you will not get uh, the passive up on the first bloom. It will only be active on the following shots. Uh, with that said, here is a screenshot of the damage comparison between the three bows. It's worth noting that every 4 seconds you can activate uh, Skyward the Harp uh, proc, which for me was 4367 damage every 4 seconds, adding basically 2183.5 damage per shot, more or less. But as uh, you can see the number look very 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 in favor of Prototype Crescent. Now, with the numbers visible on the screen, there is only one more thing that is very important to mention. And that is, how do you use your Ganyu? Do you use your Ganyu in a melt team, or in a freeze team, or in whenever team you can play her and you don't have a full good Blizzard Strayer set? For me, for my gear, <laughs> Skyward Harp is actually better. Because my Blizzard Strayer set is so bad that the improvement... Uh, in crit rate from the Skyward Harp makes up for the loss in damage compared to a full stack uh, Warbow or Prototype Crescent. If I'm using her in a Melt team, the same thing applies and it will also apply to you as well, because in a Melt team you are not using Blizzard Strayer, meaning that Skyward Harp with the extra crit rate will be an exceptional bow for her. If you have a decent 4 set uh, Blizzard Strayer set, hopefully, I will pray that you managed to drop a bloody uh, crit damage hat, which I have not seen in almost one year, then for you, Bla Blackleaf Warbow and Prototype Crescent will be better. Blackleaf Warbow you can buy any time you go to the shop, as soon as you have the currency. Prototype Crescent you are bound to RNG. If you have just one Prototype Crescent, uh, or you have one billet and you can craft it, go for it. Uh, don't use resources for uh, Blackleaf Warbow, because if you want to refine a Warbow, to 5, that's basically 34 pulls uh, on any banner, which is essentially halfway through PT. Um, the Blackleaf Warbow, I know that it's easier to use because you don't need to worry about uh, targeting, but I would rather worry about targeting every now and then with Prototype Crescent 
and have an extra 34 pulls or so on the standard banner. But Sir Grindelot, can you do a comparison with Amos Bond? Uh, yeah, as soon as I get it. Unfortunately, I have never managed to get uh, Amos Bow. I have seen all sort of uh, math about bows, and I know for sure that Amos Bow is better than all of these. A little bit better than Prototype Crescent, much better than Harp, uh, than Harp and Blackleaf Warbow, but I cannot test it directly on my Ganyu. So that's it, this was a very quick comparison. I hope that it will help you, because I know a lot of people are waiting for Ganyu's rerun. They don't know if Amos will be uh, in the banner for her, and they are thinking about pulling for Hito's weapon. They may end up with a Skyward Harp uh, <laughs> in, in the drawer. If you do have a Skyward Harp uh, in the drawer after this banner, it's a good weapon. It's easy to use, you don't need to worry about stacks, uh, uh, it helps you with your crit rate, crit damage ratio, it, it's an overall excellent weapon. But if you don't have it yet, uh, you have a billet, go, go for Prototype Crescent.